Hi everybody, this is Alan Weinkranz for 3screens.net. And I'm here today at the AT&T Research Center in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm here for a technical briefing. Let's go on inside and see what's up with the newest, the latest and the greatest at AT&T. What I'm working on is seeing how we can apply augmented reality uh, in the TV world. Um, right now I'm just experimenting with how well is this stuff going to actually work in a living room as opposed to a controlled environment. And uh, so we're evaluating different cameras. You, I'm sure heard of Project Natal. We're looking at the same technology that's in that. Um, but we're also looking at software technology to see what's the easiest way to integrate these things and, and bring them together in ways that a consumer can use without actually having to think about it. Um, way too much of this stuff kind of requires a doctorate just to be able to use, and I'm like, well, that's not going to help. It's got to be as simple as using a Wiimote or, you know, something along those lines where there's a quick social acceptance of these things. Um, what I'm experimenting with right now is just the notion of can I get a video layer laid, some game engine technology. So there's this menu ball floating in the air over here. And actually, not only does it know that the ball is out there, but it knows it's out there and it's about here in the room. Okay. And what I'm trying to do is, is use, can, uh, sorry, conventional frames of reference for the real person. So this table is the conventional frame of reference for what I'm about to do. And these objects sit in front of the table, and then I can bring the object up, and I can manipulate it. Now, if you notice, the selection of the three objects was in front of the table. This object is actually in about the center of the table. So, again, there is depth. If I'm back here, I can move my hands all I want, I won't do anything. I actually have to come into its field in order to manipulate it. So I go, I'll pick my favorite one. Come on, you. Slippery little thing. Um, this one I kind of cheated. I wanted it to be silly putty. Um, there are actually bubbles. And I just hold the bubbles to make them so big that they all mesh into each other and turn into a blob. Uh, I'm kind of into the Steve McQueen version of the blob myself, so I made a green blob. And you can interact with it, I can almost pour it. So it's kind of an interesting thing to see what you can do with fluids. Now notice that while I'm doing this up here, I have a, a virtual light source and that's actually casting shadow on the table, virtually. Now, one of the improvements that I'll be making is a way for it to automatically calibrate and actually recognize objects in your standard living room, like a coffee table. Would make sense, right? Uh, some chairs in the room. And also discern between at least two, but really four people in a room. 